wondering whether it's the right time to buy or sell the TQQQ ETF. In this video, we'll be delving deep into TQQQ. We previously shared an overview on our website on Thursday, December 14, 2023, and now we're excited to provide you with an even more comprehensive analysis. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest analysis. You won't want to miss out on any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Take your trading decisions to the next level by trying out our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of artificial intelligence and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please remember that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since November 2, 2023, our system has identified TQQQ as a buy candidate, with a score of 1.71. Now, let's delve into the stock's performance during this period. Investors who followed our analysis have enjoyed an impressive gain of 34.05% since we first listed TQQQ as a buy candidate 30 days ago. This translates to an average return of 1.13% per day since it was identified as a buy candidate. The ETF is currently in the upper part of a strong rising trend, which presents a potential opportunity for short-term traders to sell. It is likely to react and move towards the lower part of the trend. However, if the ETF breaks above the top trend line at $48.91, it indicates a stronger rate of rising. Looking at the three-month trend, there is a potential 28.72% change expected over the next three months. The possible return ranges from minus 2.79% to 29.39%. For the 12-month trend, there is a projected 114.41% change over the next year. The potential return ranges from 51.60% to 115.22%. This suggests a price range of $73.77 to $104.73 after a year. In today's update on TQQQ, we have an important headline, Evaluation of TQQQ ETF Downgraded After the Last Trading Session. The price of the TQQQ ETF experienced a slight decrease of minus 0.164% on the last trading day, which was Thursday, December 14, 2023. It went from $48.74 to $48.66. Throughout the day, the ETF had a fluctuation of 4.58%, starting at a low of $47.55 and reaching a high of $49.73. Over the past 10 days, the price of TQQQ has risen in 7 of them, showing a 10.92% increase in the past 2 weeks. Interestingly, the trading volume also decreased on the last day, which can actually be seen as a positive sign since volume should follow the ETF's movement. Specifically, the trading volume decreased by minus 13 million shares, and a total of 100 million shares were bought and sold, amounting to approximately $4.89 billion. Looking at the past 52 weeks, we can see that the highest price the ETF reached was $49.73, while the lowest price was $16.10. As of now, the current price is 2.15% or $1.07 below the 52-week high. Furthermore, it is 74.51% or $142.22 below the all-time high, which was on January 8, 2021, when the price reached $190.88. Today, we'll be discussing the signals for TQQQ, an ETF that's worth keeping an eye on. TQQQ currently shows by signals from both short- and long-term moving averages, indicating a positive forecast for the stock. Additionally, there's a general buy signal when the short-term average is above the long-term average. On the downside, there is support at $46.01 and $41.42. However, if the stock breaks below these levels, it would issue sell signals. It's important to note that some negative signals were also identified, which could impact the stock's short-term development. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Wednesday, December 13, 2023, resulting in a minus 0.164% decline. This suggests a further fall until a new bottom pivot is found. Furthermore, the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD, is currently indicating a sell signal. 
However, the volume fell alongside the price during the last trading day, reducing overall risk as volume tends to follow price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. The moving average convergence divergence is indicating a sell signal. Pivots are showing a sell signal two days ago. Bollinger bands are suggesting a buy signal one day ago. The short-term moving average displays a buy signal seven days ago. The long-term moving average indicates a buy signal 31 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages showed a buy signal 27 days ago. Now, let's take a look at the 12-month chart. The short moving average displayed a sell signal 8 days ago. The long-term moving average suggests a buy signal 25 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages showed a buy signal 15 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us for more signals. Today, let's talk about support, risk, and stop loss for TQQQ. When it comes to the downside, the ETF finds support just below today's level. We can see accumulated volume at $44.40 and $44.24, which act as support levels. It is important to note that there is a natural risk involved when an ETF is testing a support level. If this support level is broken, the ETF may fall to the next support level. In this case, if $44.40 is broken, the next support levels from accumulated volume will be at $44.24 and $37.35. Moving on to the risk factor, this ETF has average movements during the day in good trading volume, which puts its risk level at a medium. Looking at the last day, the ETF had a range of $2.18 between its high and low, representing a 4.58% change. And over the past week, the ETF has shown a daily average volatility of 3.74%. Today, we'll be discussing potential day trading levels for TQQQ. If TQQQ is experiencing an upward trend, the first resistance level to watch out for is at $48.74. If you don't currently own any shares, it might be wise to wait until this level is surpassed before entering a position. However, if you already have stock in TQQQ, this could be a suitable level for swing trading. On the other hand, if TQQQ is on a downward trajectory, it will encounter its first support level at $44.40. If this support level remains intact, it could present a favorable entry point, with the possibility of a rebound. Our recommended stop loss for this ETF is set at $46.90, which is a decrease of 3.62%. This particular ETF experiences medium daily movements, which translates to a medium level of risk. Additionally, we have identified a sell signal from a pivot top that was detected one day ago. Is TQQQ ETF a good buy? Based on our analysis, we believe there is a buying opportunity for the TQQQ ETF in the short term. While there are some minor weaknesses in the technical picture, the overall trend and several short-term signals are positive. However, it's important to note that our systems indicate the current price is overvalued, so caution is advised. Looking ahead to Friday, December 15th, we expect TQQQ to open with a slight decrease of dash $0.0133, starting trading at $48.65. Before we proceed, it's important to remember that trading carries a significant risk of financial loss. It is advisable to consult a financial advisor before making any buying or selling decisions regarding securities. Please note that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By utilizing this information, you acknowledge and assume responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome to our channel. Today, we want to discuss the current view of the stock. We value your opinion, so please share your thoughts in the comments below. Additionally, what is your target for the ETF? We'd love to hear your insights. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more valuable content. We hope you have a successful trading journey and a wonderful day. With warm regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.